Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Dyer, and welcome back to my kitchen. Listen, we're up early this morning because I wanted to get something in the crock pot. And I started it last night, just getting the meat chopped up so that I wouldn't have to worry about that this morning and just stored it in the refrigerator so I'd have it ready. And let me tell you, this is, you can get beef tips. You can actually buy beef tips. That's what they're labeled in the store. And if you look, they're like $6 a pound. So I had a little chat with my friendly butcher at Harps on 74th Street, James. He showed me some ways to save a little bit of money when you're wanting to do beef tips because you just want a really good cut of meat that's not super expensive. Well, it just happened that the eye of round roast is on special this week for $3.99 a pound. So for $3.99 a pound, I got probably about two and a half pounds of um, roast and just cut it up and stuck it in the refrigerator so it could be ready for us to use this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brown this up just quickly. You can totally omit this if you want, if you're rushed and, and, and have to move quick, but it just adds really good flavor. And I like it when I take the time to do it. And it doesn't take that much longer. And really and truly girls and guys, all it takes is a little prep to be able to have this done because when I get home this evening, you will not believe how quickly this meal will come together. It's a fun day for me. I've got some real estate stuff to do. That's always a fun day. So I know I'm gonna be in and out. There we go. We're just gonna stir that around, let it brown a little bit because we are cooking this in our good old crock pot here. Let me scoot this stuff over for us. Super simple. And really, when you see how simple it is, you're gonna think, and how impressive it looks, I think you're gonna really like it. Crock pot's a wonderful thing to use, especially if you're using a meat that may not be as tender. But this roast, I'm telling you, when I cut it up, it looked fabulous. But you can do um, just a chuck roast, round roast, eye round, anything that you find that's a good price. Just take the time to cut it the sizes that you want. I like ours a little bit smaller. You know, you don't want somebody choking to death at your table. So I keep them smaller, and I just like the way they, you eat, you know, how the texture of them is. So that was the meat. Got that ready, and I just had to plan a day ahead. When I get this done, when it's brown to, the, to my liking, you just kind of let it set. I'm gonna put it in my crock pot and then there's just a few things we're gonna to add to it. So I wanted to show you my cute little apron. One of my clients got this for me. Isn't it adorable? Robin Dawson got this for me. Robin and Steve Dawson. I had done um, a sale and a closing for them on a purchase and a sale of their house. And then their sweet little sister, Sarah Lawrence and her husband, Mark, let me sell their little house in Lavaca. And they're buying something there too. And they sent me a wonderful little thank you note with a gift card. Isn't it fun to feel appreciated? It's wonderful. And I appreciate them. So it's been a, it has been a fun day. Doing a little second look at a house that hopefully I've got a couple that are going to buy it. And they're going to sell their house. It's fun. This time in real estate is really fun but cooking's fun too, so I really enjoy it. And I love knowing that when I come home tonight, dinner's gonna be ready. My husband stays busy, so he's out and about. He does, he works, and then he has a second job with real estate photography and other things like that. So, you know, it's nice to be able to take the time to sit at the table, just kind of catch up, see how everybody's day was. So, this is gonna take me just a couple of minutes to get it where I want it. Let me think if there's anything else we need to do. You know what? This is a thing I want to tell you too. If you wanted to take your leftovers, because I've done mine family style, um, if you wanted to freeze your leftovers, I would keep them separated just because you don't want to freeze the rice and freeze the meat. You could always warm that meat back up pretty easily. Um, but with the rice, you know, it'd be better to make your own. But that's just if you have leftovers. And I wanted to tell you something else too. You know, talking about making a nice meal. 
Hey, just sitting around the table in a sandwich or something that you brought home, it's just as good because you're enjoying the time with your family, sitting around the table, catching up. For us, school started back this week. So I'm sure there's a lot of people talking around the table about all the different things that are going on at school. So make an effort to all get together, have a little time around the table. All right, we're going to call this good. You can go as dark as you want. This has got some flavor on it, and that's really what I wanted. So I'm going to take this and just get it in my crock. Let me get this off the heat. You saw how simple that was. What did that take us? Three or four minutes. And cutting it up the night before, huge time saver. And you can always, throughout the day, if you need to come back, if you... If you taste it, you need a little more salt, and you might wait until the end, but okay, let me tell you what this is. We're putting in two cans of French onion soup mix, and this is delicious. I use it in lots of different things, but always use it in my beef tips. It's delicious. And then of course, you know me, I'm the cream of soup girl. So we're gonna use two cans of Campbell's cream of chicken, I mean cream of mushroom soup. And let me tell you now, I've tried other soups in here. This is just my favorite. This is what we always come back to. Um, I think I have one recipe that I've made not too long ago that called for a golden mushroom soup. Just wasn't uh, the flavor that we liked and it may be because we're just used to this. But that's also something you can try and if you see that recipe Super simple, just like this. It's heating it up, pour it in the oven. I mean, pour it in your crock pot. Listen, this can probably be done in the oven. It's just because of my time and my schedule, doing it in the crock pot's the easiest way to do it because I know when I come home tonight, it's gonna smell marvelous. All I have to do is make it some rice and maybe a little side dish and it will be time to eat. So I'm gonna set this on high and let it cook I'm going to set it for eight hours. When I get home, if it looks like it doesn't need all the eight hours, then I'll, I'll just judge at that time. If I have an opportunity to run home midday, I love this with mushrooms in it. It just depends on my schedule today. So hopefully I'll get a chance to run home and drop some mushrooms in it. And then um, when we get it done and the day is over, we'll see you back here and we'll get dinner on the table. Hi, everyone. Listen, I hope you've had a great day. I have had a busy day. I knew it was gonna be a busy day, so I had planned ahead, and I started this meal that we started this morning, beef tips and rice. So, when I got home this evening, pulled into the garage, I could smell it, and it smells wonderful. So let me put it together. All I did when I let the dogs out was I started some rice, because everybody's gotta let the dogs out, and it was raining, it wasn't fun. But I started some rice, and this is just the rice that I think I've shown it to you. We got this when we didn't know if we were going to be able to get rice again. Anyway, we're using it up, so that's good. So I just did a cup and a half of rice. So I'm going, I normally I'll do just plates. We serve our, our uh, individual plates, but tonight I'm going to do it family style. So you can see how it looks. If you have a large family and you can set it on the table, it looks pretty impressive. So that's our rice, and it was, just follow your directions on your rice. I like the long grain rice. It just holds up really well. But if you've got something specific you like, brown rice would be delicious in this too. Um, whatever you like would be perfect. All right, now we've got our beef tips. Now I put these in this morning about 8.30. And, oh, they have cooked all day and they smell fabulous. Remember all we put in here were cream of mushroom soup, two cans, and a, uh, two cans of French onion soup. But now I will tell you, I did sneak in middle of the day and put some uh, mushrooms in here just because we like it. But I find that if I put the mushrooms in at the very beginning of the day, sometimes they just fall apart. So I know when our kids were in junior high school, I guess it was. I'd pick them up, drop them off, and then I'd have to go back to work. That was always Mandy's job, was putting the mushrooms in the beef tips. But hey, 
that made her feel like she had a big part. All right, now I've left some gravy in here. So if we see that we need more, we can put a little more in. I've got just a little bit of parsley I'm gonna chop up and put on top just because it's gonna look so pretty. And this is out of my garden. Whatever ate it before, I've tricked it and I've planted some more. So that's always nice, just because it doesn't add tons of flavor, but I think it just looks so pretty and just gives it a finish. Isn't that gorgeous? And it smells wonderful and it's gonna be so filling. And all it took was a little prep, just knowing what I needed, getting it here and having it here the day before, and then getting in the crock pot this morning. I have in the microwave some um, broccoli and it's already ready. I'm gonna pull that out, squeeze a little lemon juice on it, and dinner is ready. And all it took was planning ahead. So I hope you'll try it. I hope you love it. And we'll be back soon.